we're here with Alice and Max. So tell me, the fans have been talking about you and tweeting about you and yeah. wanting to you to be as big a part of the show as you can. So knowing that you know you're not going to be around the whole season, how does it feel personally? It's an interesting transition, you know. I mean, it feels very strange to not have this be a part of my life every day, all the time. But I feel very honored that people seem to be missing me, and I feel excited and thrilled about the next chapter of my life. And I am, I'm just, I'm really happy to have been a part of this. Okay. Now, creatively, have you had any say so in like where things are going to end up for Chloe? Have a little bit. Yeah, I've had a few it? sort of like I would rather not do this, and I think it'd be cool to do this kind of opinions that I've thrown in there. Kelly and Brian are incredibly collaborative and we have a beautiful writing staff so I, I leave it to them most of the time but there were a few specific things that I was just like that can't happen. Yeah. And so now you've been doing some theater in New York. I have. And now when you got back into the theater side of things was it a little bit of an adjustment just totally. the, the different medium? Oh my god so intimidating. <laughs> so intimidating and humbling but wonderful and New York has opened uh, has welcomed me with open arms and the people that I've worked with out there and the experiences that I've had thus far have been incredible so I'm thrilled. Okay, and so, you know, beyond Smallville, will we be seeing you in more TV? Is that still part of your objective? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not... I want to go where the good parts are. John Glover said that once. He said, I go where the good parts are. So, the medium is not as specific for me as just making sure that I'm continuing to play good parts. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much.